morning, Rush. I'm Carissa Latham. A Florida law requires students to have health screenings. But today reports one mother was appalled after her 11-year-old daughter, Lily, was sent home with a, quote, fat letter. At 5'3", 127 pounds, she looks like your average 11-year-old. But when she started school last month, she was sent home with a letter from the Collier County Health Department. The letter said she was overweight. According to the screening, Lily's body mass index puts her in the category of at risk. Lily Grosso's mother, Kristen, says her 5'4 daughter is a star volleyball player and doesn't even look overweight. And the idea of sending a letter like this home with the student goes way too far. Don't send the letter home with the kids. How hard is it to put these letters in the mail? She doesn't want to be bullied. She doesn't want to feel like the school may bully her. Schools across the country have similar BMI measuring programs, like this one at a school in Maine. The site itself says the screenings may not necessarily be accurate. BMI does not distinguish between fat and muscle. For example, if a child is very athletic and has a lot of muscle, his or her BMI may be high even though he or she is not overweight. Lily shared her feelings with Good Morning America. This whole thing is stupid. It can hurt people. It can break their courage. Be confident in everything that I do and never give up. A spokesperson with the health department told WFTX. All health departments in the state do screenings for school-aged children. Now, parents can opt out. They can uh, read right here, I do not want my child to receive these services. Kristen tells me she received that form, but the form said it would be a vision hearing, growth and development screening. Grosso didn't realize weight or BMI were also factors in the screening.